Mato Tipila, in my experience, in the entire North American continent, at least in United States and Canada, I would say, is probably the one most powerful space that you can see in this part of the world. It has a dimension. Uh, see, in, in the yogic dimension, we look at it as human body, the energetic body of the human being is like the cosmos. It has 114, uh, you know, so, uh, energy points. Of these, two are outside the physical structure, rest are inside. So these 112 are made into seven categories, which are generally in America known as seven chakras and things like that. Of these seven, there is one in the throat region which is called as Vishuddhi. I would say for ninety-nine percent of the people, this Vishuddhi remains in the seed form, it never sprouts because it is a power center. If you know something about Indian culture, the first yogi in India was called Adi Yogi, which means the first yogi. Actually, we have erected a hundred and twelve feet tall uh, face, which is the largest face on the planet, actually. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that, you can see that image in the, the thing, it's a hundred and twelve feet tall, tall bust. Because he's the first yogi to honor him, because he gave us the technologies for well-being, how to handle human well-being from within. So in this, he is also called a person who is powerful in his throat. And his throat is blue, and there's a snake around his throat, all this imagery. Why this is so is, this dimension we called Vishuddhi is one dimension which in the throat center needs maximum amount of skill and capability to evolve. What I saw, I, w I was there on uh, the full moon night in uh, Mato Tipila, it was explosive dimension of Vishuddhi or the throat center. Anybody who has done any kind of a, a little bit of search in... with that energy around would naturally become an exploration of mysticism is very natural. Because this culture, the Native American culture, has not written down anything, everything is oral culture. Now, if one person has realized something, unless he finds another person in the next generation to pass it on, it kind of gets lost. Which is also a good thing in a certain way because written down distortions will happen. But when the, uh, when the entire culture went through an upheaval for generations of people, for eight, ten, uh, probably eight to... Uh, maybe ten to twenty generations went through a whole upheaval, that culture could have been broken. But even now I'm saying, especially uh, Tab, you are a singer, you must spend minimum three days at this Matotipila especially on the full moon night, I'm telling you, you will realize something, something tremendously powerful. Anybody who realizes or opens up the throat center, their ability to connect with life... I'm saying when I say connect with life, you can touch beyond your physical reach, literally touch. So, this dimension of life is very, very rare. There are various centers in the world, which activates different dimensions, but the throat center being this powerful is hardly two, three places in the entire globe, I'm telling you. I was just amazed. The way it is reverberating with this dimension of life is just absolutely amazing. I do not know how it has happened. Nature has done it. In India, we create our own structures. You know, we create consecrated structures to reverberate this kind of energy, but what we make is of small uh, proportions, but here it is standing in such a magnificent form and this in many ways... I have spoken in detail about this, I don't want to go into the detail, but this in many ways, whether tribes were from the plains or from the mountains, from the coast, wherever they were, this has influenced the entire culture in a huge way because when I hear the Native American voices, what I see... see, I have a... I... I have no scripture in my head, I don't have any uh, bookish knowledge or religious knowledge. All I have is, I can feel the place with my eyes closed. One thing that I see with the voices, the way they're going about is, they're... they're expressing their voices along with the geometry of the land. 
when you produce a sound which is in sync with the form that you see, then we say this is a mantra because now the combination of sound and form are working together and suddenly it becomes an explosive force. So, when I see the Native American music and the terrain that they were looking at and making these uh, sounds, not always words, just sounds, because sound is important. Words are made up in our minds. Sound is real, sound is a reverb and sound has a geometry of its own. If you utter the right kind of sounds, it will touch the forms, it will embrace the forms. In this, there is tremendous power. This is where I see the entire Native American spiritual process is rooted. Whether people have physically been there or not, it doesn't matter. Because even without physically being there, you can connect with this. If you connect with the land, you can connect with this dimension. And if you connect the land and the sound, you will definitely connect with this Mato Tipila, because this is not a, a physical thing. There's an energetic dimension to that. See, we are... we have a physical body, but without the life energy, what is this physical body? It's just rot, all right? So what is a stone? A stone is nothing unless it has an energetic body. Here there's an energetic body expressing this dimension of the throat center in the human system in an extremely powerful way, which is... Uh, I've never seen a place like that in my life. I've... I've traveled literally everywhere, I'm telling you. That's so amazing. So that's been one of the most profound things. And Cahokia also was a great thing for us to see because we discovered certain things that what they have done there and some things that have gone right, some things that went wrong there. That's a different aspect, but this Mato Tipila is a must for every indigenous person, it's a must. Whether they go there physically or otherwise, they must connect with this. This is where the power is. The basis of your culture in some way energetically is here. And with connecting with that could also be the liberation for the future.